So the horn is currently in the bag. Randy is going to be lubricating the connections for me as we start assembling the horn. for the horn in that connection there. And then, oh. No, that's wrong. Uh, Most of these are already lubricated, right? Yeah. If not all of them. We should be all good to go. So assembling this horn is not something to be done in a hurry. <laughs> Best to take your time. First parts you need are the rod. This goes in the very middle of the horn to provide some extra strength to that connection. Do you hold that for me, Brandy? Yeah. Okay. So we put that connection together first. It's much easier to put it together on the pad and vertically than it is to put it together in any other way. So we get it started. ahead and align the rod with the hole. It should go together pretty easily and then you can go ahead and put up the nut to the other side. small piece gets nested inside the bell so it's important when you're pulling things out of the case not to do anything too hastily you want to do everything nice and slow once again not something to do in a hurry okay the foot goes on magnetically so you go ahead and slot it in and lock it into place you take that down and match the head All right, each connection has little, again on you. each connection has little black dots that show you which way is up. So make sure to align those so that the horn goes together properly. Okay, one person wants to hold onto the belt with one hand on the bell ring, pushing the ring into the ground. The other hand wants to be as high up the bell as possible, preferably up here. And you just push straight down with both hands so that the horn doesn't wobble. The other person wants to align the pieces with each other and then just gently wiggle up and down and slide the pieces together. Lining up the black dots on each subsequent piece. Little, little up and down wiggles are much better. Don't start doing this, it's not gonna work, just little wiggles.
All right, once you've got the first four connections together, you can go ahead and grab the stand and set the horn on that. And at that point, it becomes a one person job. Now, probably every second or third time you assemble the horn, you're going to want to wipe all the connections off and re-lubricate them. It's a lot of re-lubricating, but the connections are simply so enormous that that's kind of going to be the case. Otherwise, you're just going to attract all of the dirt in the world. You want to move the stand up so it's underneath this second connection here. You can theoretically use the stand to adjust the height so that the player doesn't have to hold the weight of the instrument. However, it is best to have the stand higher up toward the mouthpiece end of the horn. You don't want to be moving the stand down lower. The lower the stand is, the more unstable it becomes. Oh, geez. The more unstable it becomes and the horn might get blown over. Okay, that's all there is to it. <laughs> So disassembly is almost the reverse of assembly, but not quite. Grab your pad. That goes underneath the bell flare to prevent the bell flare from getting scuffed. All right. So the first thing you want to do is actually to get rid of the rod because you don't need that anymore. So go ahead and unscrew the nuts or one nut. You don't need to unscrew both, of course, and you can go ahead and pull that out. There we are. And then you can just start taking one apart. Now, if any connections give you any resistance, gentle up and down wiggling is the key. None of the first few should do that though. And then you can just move the stand down as you go. Oh, and I should say, this is a two-person job, so you need somebody else to help you out. If you get any that are sticky, you want the other person to go ahead and hold that still for you so that you don't end up disconnecting connections lower down because they will come apart and they will hit the ground and the horn will crack. So be careful about that. Take your time once again. Don't be in a hurry. gentle up and down wiggling. Don't be in a hurry. There is no rush. It's not a race. And once you get to this point, the stand really doesn't do you much good anymore. So this is the last connection you can use it on. Oh. Okay, so for these last two, and I guess for the very last one, no, for the last two, really. Oh, well, it's fine. And again, gentle up and down wiggling. Ugh, not necessarily the most dignified thing in the universe, but uh, gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, so once again, Press down firmly on the bell ring. You're not going to hurt it. It can support probably a ton, so don't worry about that. Press down firmly with the other hand as high up as you feel comfortable pressing so that the bell doesn't wiggle, and then just give it a gentle wiggle. It should come right out as long as you've kept it lubricated. Now, I should say it's totally fine to stand these connections up on their ends. 
obviously not in the dirt, but if you're on a, a, a clean surface, there's nothing wrong with that, then they won't roll away. Tilt the bell up. Set it down on the, uh, on the pad brandy, that's what the pad's for. There we go. And then you take the foot off by giving it a twist and pulling it off. <laughs> and there we go. Let's show how it packs down into the case. You wanna grab the pad? happily sit on its ring. Now, this connection with the two metal ends is the one that gets its own special bag. Three smallest pieces of the horn sleeve down inside of this one. That's the three smallest pieces. The double-ended piece here with the two external sections does not go inside here. It will just about fit, but then it'll get stuck. So don't try to put that one in there. Just the three smallest pieces. Got a bung here to prevent anything from sliding out. Cinch that down. And then all of that goes inside of the largest piece. The case is symmetrical in both directions. There's no one way or the other, but you do want to set this largest piece in place first. It's just the easiest. That whole stack. In there. The bell goes next to that. You want the smaller end next to the larger end of the bell. It'll probably fit the other way, but it's going to fit better this way. Hold that for me. This piece is shorter so that it will fit inside the bell. Got a bag that is for the foot and that is for the rod by the way these nuts on the end these are just quarter 20 so if you do lose a nut you can go to the hardware store and just get any quarter 20 nut that will work um, in a pinch all right and of course the bag is for that and anything else you care to throw in there I'm sure it will acquire other goodies with time that goes in the bell This goes inside this piece here. This piece in the center is plastic. It's probably not gonna scratch anything up too badly. If you uh, want, you could wrap a handkerchief or something around that to give it some padding. The best way to put it in is with the padded part of this against the bell ring, but it's not super important. It doesn't have to go in that way. If it's backwards, it's not that big of a deal. And finally, the pad goes between the pieces to keep everything from rattling. And you connect those two handles together. And you are ready to go. Mm -hmm.